Let's take a look at how to retrieve mailbox sizes in Exchange using PowerShell. So the first thing is you either need to be inside of the Exchange Management Shell or have an Exchange PowerShell session open. You can see here that I've got an Exchange PowerShell session. So we use the get mailbox statistics commandlet to retrieve the total item size property. So I'm, I've got that commandlet here, I've got the name of a mailbox, and I'm piping that to the select object commandlet and selecting the display name and total item size properties. So that tells me that this mailbox is only 342 kilobytes in size, not very big. If we wanted to look at the sizes of all of the mailboxes that we have in our exchange environment, we can use the get mailbox commandlet to send all of the mailboxes down the pipeline to the get mailbox statistics commandlet. And then I'm gonna pipe that to the format table, selecting the display name and total item size. There we go, you can see I've got mailbox names on the left and sizes on the right. It's not in any particular order. And so if we did want to sort that, we can using the sort object commandlet so I'm going to do that same command again, uh, but sort it by the total item size using the sort object commandlet. And something else on this command is I'm using the back tick here on line 29. That just tells PowerShell that the command is for those two lines. I'm doing that for readability. That way we don't have a command that goes off to the side of the screen. So here you can see that we've actually got the biggest mailbox down at the bottom. Not actually very big because this is just a demo environment. Uh, but they're all sorted by size. So another example is the get mailbox commandlet has a database parameter. And so we can retrieve all mailboxes in a database, pipe them to the get mailbox statistics commandlet, sort them by their total item size using sort object, and then pass them to the format table commandlet to display just the display name and total item size. And again, I'm using the back tick on line 33 for readability. There we go. So not all of the mailboxes we saw before are in this database, but here's the ones that are. So one really common thing you'll run into is needing to give this information to somebody else. So we can export it to a CSV. So what I've got here is I'm gonna be selecting a couple of additional properties. So I've got the display name and total item size. We saw those properties before, but I'm also gonna be retrieving the item count property, which is the number of items in a mailbox the deleted item size, which is the total size of all the deleted items, as well as the deleted item count. So I've got the get mailbox pipe to get mailbox statistics, pipe to sort object, seen that before. But in this case, I'm using the select object commandlet to select just those specified properties, and then piping it to export CSV and giving it a file path. And of course, selecting the uh, no type information parameter on export CSV so we don't get that type information line. And again, I got the back tick on line 41 for readability. So now we've actually got a CSV with all this information in it. So you can send that to decision maker and they can open up in Excel and graph it out and really enjoy those numbers. So the last thing I wanted to mention is if you wanted to sum up multiple mailboxes sizes, and it's a little more difficult than you might think. So the total item size property isn't a straight integer. So if we pass that total item size property of a mailbox from get mailbox statistics to the get member commandlet, we can see that the type is this uh, exchange data type. So it's a byte quantified size. Uh, but the nice thing is this total item size has a value property and that value property has a two bytes method that actually gives us a, an integer. And so we can add, we can subtract, we can divide, we can do all kinds of really fun things with this. Uh, but the thing I wanted to mention is we could pipe that value to the measure object commandlet and use that to sum it all up. So here I'm piping get mailbox to get mailbox statistics, and then looking at the total item size dot value dot two bytes and summing it using measure object. And I am passing all that to the size variable and then of course on line 51, I've got the back tick on the end for readability. All right, so size will now have the sum property. And 
you know, taking a look at it here, it doesn't look like it's very big because remember, this is a demo environment. So I can actually divide size.sum by one megabyte and see that it's uh, 24.38 megabytes. So that's a really tiny. And remember that in your production environment, I'm sure it's going to be a lot bigger. So that's how you look at mailbox sizes in Exchange using PowerShell.